Experience all football has to offer. See Victory League live. Crowds slowly making their way in. You've got to say it's probably not what we would have expected for a double header, but hopefully then towards the end of this one, we it starts to uh, get a th few more through the gate as Olympia fans and uh, City fans are off, and we're underway. Brassingham plays out to left side, finds Rigby who chests down. He's got Walsh up on him. Walsh doesn't press too high. Get Zebra number 11 throws forward. Flicked header on from Lazinski, finds McEwen. It goes over to Matt. He enters the box now, does McEwen, and it's booted away from 10. Oh, he's out a little bit by there by Chell. Current goes inside, Henry Fagg. Uh, he's calm and collected, Henry. To Kurt, Kurt to look to run with it. Looking for McEwen. It's dealt with by Tuma. Lano Atkinson. Plays out wide to Rigby. Rigby will look to dance around Walsh. Uh, fielding into to do with it. Walsh clears to Curran. I was pretty interested when Jed moved him back there uh, in the first place, but I think he's held himself really well. Like He's a strong tackler and he's mega quick. Oh, fag hit. No. That'll go out for a Zebra's corner. The zebra's keeper. It's a chipping ball out looking for Walsh. He flicks on a header, finds the chest of Ethan Engels, does really well. Puts the ball out to the far side. McEwen finds it eventually and yeah. flaps it straight into the bottom right. Beautiful finish from Adam McEwen. The uh, the spray pre-game from Jed Donahue <laughs> certainly worked there. Was, I really like the uh, work of Ethan Engels on the far side. He trapped it down with his chest and just put a ball out on the far left side. Fires it in. He'll be looking for Hinkson. Dealt with by Engels under the top of Rigby. He fires over the bar and it's a zebra spray kick. But, uh, the knowledge of Matt. Ferguson wins out, he races off his line and collects with a slide. Big boot on this one. Bouncing ball comes through, it, over the Rangers oh. defence, it comes to McEwen, yeah. and he's slotted a second! <laughs> Adam McEwen may be, set, may be set for a day out here, a ball bounces through, the Rangers defence yet again couldn't deal with it, comes across, he gets a feathered little outside touch on it and it bounces in to the right side of the net. Rangers in trouble here as Adam McEwen looking to run rampant. He's slotted two. Anyone can come along to the game. Just have a look at his legs. It's back into... Oh, Kurt Ingles here. McEwen! Oh! That's come off the post there. McEwen's nearly had an early hat-trick. Strolling through the middle is Hingston. The bearded skipper. What can he do? He's got to fire up his troops. Plays out to Rebu. Sends a ball into the box. Headed away by Courtney. Controlled by Marcioli. He hammers it long and strong. The Rangers throwing early, taken early by Frassington. Ooh, decent head clash there by Curran Ferns and Anderson. Yeah, shoulder Anderson looks in a bit of strife. Mitch Dent comes on now. One of our favourites, uh, Harvey Dent, two face. <laughs> and he comes for the injured shoulder Anderson. Who got to say, there's a fair bit of blood. Up to Hingston, plays into the centre. Looks to feed out wider Rigby, not his best forward, finds Walsh instead. Now Walsh has it on that right side. Takes a bit of a bolt, as he loves to do. Here's Rigby, zigzags by one, and then finds Brasserton, who feeds back to the townhouse. Now back to Brasserton. What can he do here, the Englishman? Plays into Mitch Den, who's already had an impact off the bench. Now out wide to Rigby. He's playing the ball too flat on the ground at the moment. I don't know whether the surface is uh, bumpy out there, it looks pretty flat, but uh, McEwen, who sends a risky ball back to Russell Courtney, but uh, the big pom deals with it well. Off his line, Dent now tries to get inside, he does really well Does Dent, plays back to Brassington, and he air swings an effort, and Zebras might have a chance to counter attack here. For uh, about the 30 minute mark of proceedings, and Zebras well on top with uh, two early goals from Adam McEwen in the ninth and 12th minute. Uh, nice bit of work, punishing probably a bit of a slack defending from the Rangers as Pooley plays out to uh, Lano Atkinson confidently. Lazinski almost gets let in, but Pat Lano Atkinson does really well to stream by two players, plays into the centre to Hingston. Fakes one way, goes another, and then sends through the middle of Brassington. Kick a third on the brink of half time. It's been a good half for them, you've got to say. Um, McEwen made the most of the two chances. Apart from that, bustling nature and wins out. He's 
got the ball right on the right edge of the box here now. Plays across looking for Fag or McEwen. They all take a ticket. Comes to McEwen. He takes a shot. And it's goal time. McEwen hat trick inside the first 45. He takes a shot from the edge of the box and sends it screaming into the top right corner. He was on the top of the box, but Rangers have applied the pressure here again. And they've won a free kick right here on the top of the box through um, Utah Towns. He was fouled by Ferns, I believe. Oh, we've, we've, I think we've got, no, we don't have a goal. A lot of excited parents out here watching this this game. Is, I'm not sure it could be under 13s or they could be 8s. It's really hard to tell with these kids these days. But, I mean, there's a guy out there who's, who's well, no, there's three of them out there who are all bigger than me. I don't know about that. They kind of must be something in the water. It's out for a, a Rangers throw on the far side. It'll be uh, Pat Lanu Atkinson with this one. Throws into Hingston. He can't control, comes from uh, McEwen and then to Lazinski who steals it off the boot of Tumor and has a shot from range and a great save from Pooley. Pooley does really well to his right and tips it wide and Tumor looks in a bit of discomfort after Lazinski collided with him and collected the ball and flashed what was a really good strike at goal. A great strike by Albie there. He's uh, obviously heard what I said at half time and told him I wanted one from outside the D and he's almost delivered but acrobatic save there by Pooley and um, that's what he's known for isn't he? He's a shot stopper and you don't know what you're going to get out of him on the day but he's uh, definitely said uh, no to Albie there and Walsh sends this one forward into the box but it's dealt with by McCarriger. He's going to look to calm things down there in the centre of the park. Rigby goes forward early. It's a decent ball over the top to Brassington in more of an attacking position now so they'll be happy with him from there he plays back to Rigby he'll look to uh, dance around Ferns and, and Courtney we're deep into this half we're into the 69th minute and they still trail 3-0 to the Zebras throw comes in from Whitehall into Lazinski on the edge of the box on the right side and Tenzing Anderson hoofs clear to Den who does well to win in the air into the centre Brassington Feeds Towns, Towns slips up and McEwen does well to get in and play it back to his defence. We're with Fag now in the middle. Uses Marcioli and then out to Whitehall, looks to feed in the centre but him and Lazinski on different wavelengths. Rigby on the ball, plays into Hingston, a nice ball finds Tenzing Anderson on the left side to Dent. Try and get something started for the Rangers. He puts a nice ball through down the left side to Anderson where he's worked on from his fullback position. Plays in the centre to Dent again who continues to work for the Rangers. Gets by one, gets by a second. Puts a ball into the box now but it's well collected by Ferguson who races out of his little brass and then tries to get going the other way. Then Engels tries an audacious hit from downtown. But it comes out to McEwen who looks to tussle with Pat Lano Atkinson but fouls him in the process. So to Fag throws down into the centre to Lazinski. Gets a little touch on it. Comes to Ferns. Ferns dinks inside of Tuma. He's still got a Ferns as he enters the box, but a timely challenge from Pat Lanoakin sees it out to Marcioli. Still alive though, the Zebras sends across to the back. Headed in by Ferns to the bottom right corner. Great goal by the Zebras, and they go further ahead. It's a, a great little run there by McCurran. He Obviously, he got in top of the box, but he, he did snuff and it came out uh, into the middle of the park and it was well collected by, by Chell. And a great ball in. And this one, once it comes back from the car park, and he'll send it forward to the Rangers. Not long left on the clock now, probably about five to go. Great day out for Zebras and uh, one that Rangers would rather forget. Pulley sends this forward. To be headed on by Dent. Fielding almost marks that one, but he's got away with it. Another ball through to um, Lano Atkinson, cuts that one out extremely well again. Ferns just over jumps this one, and Dent does extremely well, but can't outpace Walsh. Oh. Fish dancing around them, the old stall Walsh. He's, he hasn't lost a, lost a day, has he? He's lost toe, but he definitely hasn't lost that football knowledge and football smarts. He's knows when to play the ball and when to go. Comes to McEwen at the edge of the box. Can he find his fourth? He puts it across and Pulley saves well. Sends in. Bounce to the front post. Collected by Pulley. He throws out, finds Brassington, plays it down to Tenzing Anderson. 
Gets it by Walsh, but it's cut off by Ferns. Plays to Walsh. Cuts in board. Braxton then cuts it off. Done really well, has the Englishman. Sends across to the right. A ball looking for Towns. Towns tracks it down. Goes back to Pat Lano Atkinson. Sends along the right side and it's cut off by Fielding and out for a throw in. Pat Lano Atkinson plays along. You take Towns. He gets inside. Seen away by Fielding. The lunging effort and Copra pulls him up and awards a free kick for the Rangers. So a uh, late opportunity for them to, to bag what would be a consolation goal on a, a disastrous day for them at home. Bra Brassington over this one. So we're still <laughs> we're into the 89th minute here at NTCA. Not long to go. Brassington chips it along. Nice looking ball. But Courtney meets it first with his hit. Head comes out to Kurt Engels who can't keep this one alive. Races off his boot and out for a corner. Zinski does well to stay strong on the ball. Then feeds through McEwen who's looking for a fourth. But Brassington wins it back for the Rangers. Plays out to left to Dent. The substitute has been handy. He's worked hard. He plays through. Finds Fisher. Oh, Fisher beats Fielding. Well. Looks to get by a second in Marcioli. Marcioli cuts him down. It'll be a free kick from range. And a yellow card for Marcioli for his troubles. Day and Dent steps oh. up and takes it in rather comical fashion. Out to the back post, looking for McCarragher. And it's cleared with a big hook. And that's a game. A good one for the Tilford Zebras. And Adam McEwen in particular. A really dominant display. They win. Obviously, yeah, keeping a clean sheet against uh, Rangers is always is good because they've got got lots of attacking options. We've got Toddy at set pieces and uh, Shane in open play. And you know they're always going to test you on the break. So clean sheet was important for us, and uh, it's good to get a win on the road. In in the first half, I mean it was three 0 at half time. Um, I actually thought we probably had more possession in the first half. Couldn't score. Um, they had very limited chances, played some long balls, which we said they were going to do. Every time they put a long ball through, they scored. 